Hi guys, it's Elena from TheRisingSpoon.com. I just wanted to make a hopefully quick video to show you guys the immune boosting roll-on recipe that I've been using for the last year. It's changed a little bit based on the oils I've had in my collection, but um, it's pretty much been the thing that I've relied on for the last at least 10 months to make sure that when people around me are sick or I'm in a situation where my immune system or my body might be drained or compromised, I can apply this twice a day, morning and night, on my feet and I'm on my spine, and I won't get whatever is going around. And I can say legitimately, with my own personal experience, that this has helped tremendously. And within the whole of the, the last 10 to 12 months, I've only gotten sick um, once. And that was the last time was recently when I was out of town for seven days, and I wasn't using this roll-on every day because I was tired and forgetful, and this is when I was at Disney World, I was eating poorly, I was gone all day, not drinking enough water, not sleeping well, so basically everything that would help make your immune system weaker, and I wasn't using these things to help. So when I got back and I came down with something, I started applying this uh, roll-on blend uh, every about every two hours to the bottom of my feet and my spine, and I started diffusing some other oils and um, doing some other things, you know, with my diet to help uh, boost my immune system, and it, I kicked it in two to three days. Whereas in the past, seven to 10 days minimum for me to feel like that, uh, and it might have gotten worse. Um, and I, I know the things I would have relied on in the past, and this was back when I was in college and I was getting sick probably about every two to three months, uh, was this little red pill that I got at the pharmacy that was the only thing to help my nose from stop uh, running, which that's one of the symptoms I would get every time I got sick. There's a really horrible runny nose. And it just became a regular thing for me back in the day to always be taking that pill. Um, and there was nothing else I could really do other than try to eat some food that would help me. Um, but I realized, you know, when I got into essential oils that um, certain essential oils have immune boosting properties and uh, natural properties from the original plant that they're derived from um, that have can fight bacteria and viruses. And because of the, the complex chemistry of essential oils, they're able to sort of resist the mutation of certain viruses and bacteria in your body, so it's harder for them to resist the beneficial properties of the essential oils once they're in your body. However, I just want to note that because, you know, this is a holistic approach, um, you have to be pretty adamant about using it every couple of hours, you know, if you're dealing with some uh, sickness or um, if you're just using it to boost your immune system. If you're around people that have germs, um, do it at least twice a day. So if you just stop doing it, then it's not going to help anything. Um, also, I should probably note that this is not a substitution for uh, actual or proper uh, professional medical advice. I'm not saying don't go to your doctor. I'm not a, a medical professional. This is just my personal experience um, and what's helped me. So I'm hoping that you guys will have more options to help you so you don't get sick as often. So what I started with when I first got my premium starter kit was thieves. And if that's all you have, literally you can just use thieves by itself, um, diluted on the bottom of your feet, on your spine. Um, and that will help. You know, it's a good place to start. Um, it has five different oils in it that are excellent for fighting off germies. And this is one of the oils that's obviously known for this because it has a backstory of being used um, for back in the plague in the 15th century. So uh, if uh, you want to bolster this a little bit, um, you could add from the premium starter kit oils, uh, lemon essential oil, which is uh, very good for boosting the immune system and frankincense, which also has that same property. And that would just be a good place to start. You know, you could, um, you could buy a separate roll-on bottle, you know, with a, a roll-on top. And, uh, you know, from your health food store, or so any place that you want to buy, you know, like, an, um, I don't know, a crafting store. And you can mix, I don't know, try 10 drops each of the oils and then dilute it with your favorite carrier oil. So that could be, um, you know, olive oil, sweet almond oil, whatever you prefer, and apply that on your spine and your feet morning and night. When you're in a situation where you feel like, you know, maybe you're traveling, someone in your house is sick, 
you're going to a lot of public places, we are going to be touching a lot of surfaces, so on and so forth. Now, if you're in the opportunity where you can start expanding your essential oil collection a little bit, I definitely have some very excellent recommendations. Um, me personally, like I said, I started with Thieves and just the oils I had in the kit. And my first, um, I guess, goal when I signed up for Essential Rewards uh, was to start ordering um, any other oils that I knew would help boost my immune system. Um, and so that was my first. I mean, I could have been, you know, ordering oils that I thought smelled good or ones that would, you know, help for, for skin reasons or just emotional support. But I was like, hey, you know, I need to build up my, my collection of immune boosting oils because that's the most important thing to me. Because if you're sick, it's just, you're not going to have fun. So the first oil I got was oregano. That one's a powerhouse along with thyme. And this is a more recent one I got, basil. Um, and then we have Exodus 2, which is a more recent one I have too. It's um, a blend that Young Living makes, which has a bunch of biblical oils. Um, all of these essential oils, the singles and the blend, um, are very powerful at fighting off bacteria, viruses, and stimulating your immune system. Um, because these three are very powerful themselves, when I'm making a blend, I'll only add one of them. Unless, I don't know, I just feel like someone's really sick and I have a high chance, then you could add two. It's up to you. But all three of these are very strong scented. So another reason to do a roll-on blend is so that you don't get that all over your hands um, because you will smell like oregano or thyme for like several hours afterwards. And it's very potent not the best smelling. I mean, it's still good. It's just very strong, which it's totally worth it if it's helping you, you know, not to get sick. Um, another few things you could do is switch up the, the citrus oil that you're using. So let's like, say you don't have lemon or you're at, low on lemon. You could you do lime or orange. Any of these citrus oils are very good for boosting the immune system. Or uh, what I like to do now is add two citrus oils because they're inexpensive and they help do the, you know, the job. So it makes the other oils last a little longer. Okay, so I should probably show you how to do this. What I like to do um, is take an old five milliliter bottle, um, maybe it's low, um, or you, you know you could transfer it to something else. And in the premium starter kit, it comes with a roll-on fitment. Um, so you should have one if you order one um, with your kit the first time, or you can order more from Young Living. These are my very favorite um, roll-on tops. Like I said, have shown you before, you know, they have the glass ones that you can just get at the health food store, but every single one of them I've run across have plastic tops, which suck. They just don't roll very well. And if you're using citrus oils, they'll just, um, over time disintegrate uh, plastic, so it's not really a good idea. Um, these pretty much like last forever, and you can, you know, wash them and they do a really good job. It comes out very evenly and faster. So, what I'll do is uh, take this off. So for these fitments, you just use the cap to loosen it like that. You know, take it off. And what I've been doing is there's only this little five milliliter bottle can only fit like maybe 80 to 85 drops. So I had to kind of ration what I'm using. If I was using a bigger bottle, I could do as many as I wanted and just fill the rest with carrier oil. So just for this example, I'll do five drops of each, so you have to wait less time for me to do it. But um, normally I do 10 drops of each, and then I do five drops of Exodus. So two, three, four, five. And then, so that's Thieves. And I always either do a citrus oil, like lemon, orange, or lime, or I could do two of them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a lot. They come out really fast for the citrus oils. And because I'm making my blend that has a bunch of other oils in it, I'm not going to include frankincense. It's a little bit more precious. If I was just using oils from the kit, um, then I would include that. So if I only had the kit and I was just doing thieves and um, lemon and frankincense, that's, that's when I would use it. But because oregano or thyme is, is pretty powerful, I feel like it's just not necessary. 
Okay, and I'm adding a little extra citrus with the lime to make it stretch further. And I'll do, I'll just do two drops here since I'm only doing five of the rest of them. This one comes out a little slower because it has these, uh, the biblical oils are a little bit thicker, more syrupy. Okay, and from here, you know, you just, you could dilute it 50-50, which is what a lot of people do, but I'll just straight up fill it with re the rest of the carrot oil. They all smell really strong, and I want to make these last as long as possible, plus when I'm applying it to the bottom of my feet and uh, to my spine, it's hitting a, a, long, um, a bigger surface area, so I'm going to use more anyway. So, like I said, you could you can measure this out so that you're using equal parts carrot oil to the essential oils, or twice as much. It's totally up to you. Me, I'm just going to fill this. Okay. And for these metal fitments, to get them back on, because this is the trick, you have to... Oh, screw the cap back on. That is the only trick. If you try to put it on without the cap, you're just going to be doing that all day. You might hurt yourself. So now, it smells like oregano and thieves. Hmm. So what I would do is roll it on the bottom of my feet and all along my spine, the parts that I could reach. And if you have a partner, they could get those other parts that are harder to get. And I do this morning and night. Um, I don't do this every day. So if I'm, everyone around me is feeling good, I don't know anyone is sick. You know, I'm not going out as much. I'm not going to places where, you know, there's a chance that, you know, I could contract something. Um, then, you know, I want to save it because, like I said, these are powerful oils. So... It's not something you just want to use every day unless you have a reason to. Uh, that way, you know, they work better when, when you actually need them. All right, um, so this has turned out a little bit longer than I thought, but this is the immune boosting roll-on that I've been using. Um, it works really well, and if you have any questions, um, visit my Facebook page or my blog, or um, you can leave a comment on this video. All right, I hope it helps you. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.